Today we're going to talk about a really important concept in art called value. Value is the, kind of the measure of how light or dark something is in an artwork. Now you see this really easily in a black and white photograph. Black and white photographs can show you all of the really light and really dark areas and the hundreds of different shades of gray in between. The way that works is a camera looks at the full color natural world and converts all of those colors into values. Artists use this concept of value when they're creating their artworks, whether it's a drawing or a painting, the lightest colors get converted into the lightest values and the darkest colors get converted into the darkest values. We're going to explore that a little bit today with a couple of exercises that will get you thinking about color and value and putting them together. Now, when you look at this sticky pad note, I bet you notice right away that there are some shadows. When I introduce this flashlight, I can create a bright spot and a shadow, and they're going to move together. As I bring the flashlight around this way, you'll see that some edges become brighter and others become darker. The shadow is always on the opposite side of the light source. Now this is the other side of that light logic worksheet that's in your sketchbook. Today we're going to we're going to put what we know about those two things to work on light logic. Again, light logic is the relationship between the lights and the shadows. If you know where one is, it's easy to figure out where the other is. Take the sun for example. It's high and to the left and so the higher edges and sides are going to be lighter and the right side of the box is going to be darker. Each of these sides is something an artist calls, calls a surface plane. We're going to be thinking about those surface planes as we add our line quality and our texture to the boxes. So I want you to choose a light source and if it helps you can draw it in. I'm going to draw a little sun here just to remind me. And then I want you to pick one of your textures or line qualities as you apply the shadows on this box using light logic. So the sun is high, so the highest surface is probably going to get the lightest value. I'm going to choose to do cross hatching. So I'll do some really light hatching and then some cross hatching. Then the side, the surface plane that's furthest away from the sun is going to get the darkest value. So I'll do some darker cross hatching here. And this plane is kind of in between the farthest and the nearest, so it's going to get more of a medium value. Again, cross hatching. It's always best to check your work when you're done. I feel like these are all a little too similar, so I'm going to darken this medium one to make it a little more different from the lightest. That means I also need to darken this side. So I'll take another direction. Maybe I'll go this way and cross hatch it even darker. Now it has a set of lights and shadows that are believable. I want you to take a little time to practice on your page. And when you're finished, you can fill out this rubric down below. Try to decide which level you achieved and then circle the one that you did. And now we're going to put those new skills to work. Get out your sketchbook and turn to a blank page or grab a blank sheet of paper from your art teacher. Start thinking about what you want to draw. Spot the light colors and convert them into light values. Do the same for the dark colors, converting them into dark values. You might choose to do a portrait or a landscape or cityscape, maybe a treat that you enjoy. When you're done, Remember to post it to Seesaw so your art teachers can see what you created.